you cut it up by the gills, and then you cut it down the, uh, is it the sp spine? Mm -hmm. See, you can tell right now that the tail is moving because nothing is mounted, nothing is clamped. <clears throat> I need to do this. And I'm using my hands. You've got to be careful, don't you cut yourself. <clears throat> then you cut all the way through. Oops. And then you got to cut a line around the bones. Okay, so that's fully one side, that's usually the easier side, right? But when you happen to do this, now it's flat. And I'll, I'll bring my camera over so you can see it. It's a little tricky now because it's farther down. It's now is it's it's a lot more it's just uneven more uneven than normal so you can cut it like this okay but cutting this now is a little trickier and see I miss a little bit of meat right here off this because it's so uneven underneath so if I had something that popped it open now I could put this back on and that's what I usually do okay so it's a little it's up higher uh, off the table um, but sometimes I forget <clears throat> okay so I'll finish it and I'll show you both sides see I actually missed some back here and again it's just because it's uneven but I wanted to show you what happens So this is the this is the side here I'll put it like this. See I missed back here. I didn't mean to. I missed some meat here up here. Now if you look at the clean side, okay, this is the first side I did. Look, nice and smooth all the way back and all around here. Okay. So there you go.